Hey guys, it's Mike Doyle at Coldwell Banker here with your October real estate update. Well guys, more of the same. Interest rates are rising higher and higher. They're almost around 8% right now, which is crazy. And the inventory is as low as ever. We are at like 2,200 homes for sale. Again, we should be at between six and 8,000 homes for sale. So very little supply out there. And there's not a lot of buyers that can't afford those homes, but those that can afford are out looking to buy and buy now. Um, so we're not seeing prices drop at all. And I don't expect any of this to change between now and the end of the year. In fact, what I foresee is that between now and the end of December, the inventory is actually going to drop, the demand's going to drop, and the prices are kind of going to kind of be status quo. Now everybody's looking towards those foreclosures and short sales like had happened in 2006, 7, and 8. Well, right now in Orange County, there are six foreclosures and short sales in the entire county, you know? And so even if that jumps by tenfold, that's going to be what, 60? There are no foreclosures and short sales on the horizon. So don't expect this big crash to happen. Now, what I'm telling everybody is this, you know, if you're out there looking for a house and you just cannot find what you're looking for, what I've been telling everybody is to start your search off market. You know, we all know those people in our neighborhoods that are thinking of selling, that they might do something if they get a great offer. You know, we've been having a lot of luck contacting those sellers and just saying, hey, will you sell for X price? And it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens more than you'd think, okay? Now, as for sellers out there, you're still able to call the shots. There are still multiple offers uh, out there right now. We're not getting 20, 30 offers on every listing, but we are getting between two and five, which is plenty. And prices are still high and, and the market is still strong. All right. Again, I don't see this changing anytime soon. Look for supply to remain low, demand to remain low, but still strong enough to keep up pricing and for prices to remain strong between now and spring of next year. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.